When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? Never. Which answer is correct for the air valves when testing the trailer service brakes only? Service brake off, parking brake off, trailer air supply in open and trolley applied. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when the trailer will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. How should you test the tractor trailer connection for security? Pull gently forward in low gear against the lock trailer brakes then inspect the coupling. Which answer is correct for the air valves when testing the trailer spring parking brakes only? Service brake off, parking brake off, trailer air supply out, trolley released. Your emergency airline brakes or gets pulled apart when you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the... Emergency trailer brakes to come on. You supply air to the trailer tanks by pushing in the trailer air supply valve. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are one, keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible and two, go slowly around turns. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when the trailer will be raised slightly when the tractor is back under it. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the king pin. This means The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the, coup the coupled unit. When backing your tractor under a trailer, you should expect trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Before you start to uncouple, you must make sure the ground is solid and can support the weight of the trailer. During uncoupling, you should disconnect the electrical cable and hang it with the plug down. As part of your vehicle inspection test, if your vehicle is equipped with an air brakes and has a trailer, you will inspect the air connections between the truck and tractor and the trailer. Make sure that the are locked in place and free of damage or air leaks gland hands if your vehicle gets stuck on a railroad track you should get away from your vehicle and call 911 or the post an emergency number if your test of the tractor protection valve is successful 
The tractor protection valve control trailer air supply control will pop out or go from normal to emergency. You should not use the trailer hand brake to straighten out a jack knifing trailer because the brakes on the trailer wheels cost the skit in the first place. You should not use the trailer hand valve while driving because of the danger of making the trailer skid. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is empty. When backing a tractor under a trailer, you should Always use the lowest reverse gear. The best way to tell if your trailer has started to skid is to see it in your mirrors. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and apply the trailer emergency brakes. If your vehicle is equipped with dummy couplers, why should you connect the glad hands to them? It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. When coupling a tractor semi-trailer, to test the trailer air brakes, you should place the tractor protection valve control in what position? Normal. Trucks roll over more easily when fully loaded and are 10 times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. To stop a trailer skid, you should release the brakes. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle engine off brakes off should be no more than PSI per minute. 3. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. You are coupling a tractor and semi-trailer and have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer, you should Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the trailer air supply knob to lock the trailer brakes. You have coupled with a semi-trailer. In what position should you put the front trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crank handle secure in its bracket. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To prevent steering problems. To prevent rollover, cargo should be spread evenly across the trailer and as low as possible. Where should the tractor be when you inspect the landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? With the tractor frame under the trailer. An anti-lock braking system, ABS, is useful whether it is on the tractor or the trailers. You should use chocks 
when parking a trailer without spring brakes because if the air supply leaks away, there will be no brakes. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the position. Open. What is a tractor jack knife? When you look up the driver's tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? Neutral. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle engine off brakes on should not be more than 4 PSI per minute. Why should you lock the trailer glad hands to each other or the storage bracket when you are not towing a trailer? It will keep the dirt and water out of the lines. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both air lines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close. The hand valve should be used to test the trailer brakes. Combination vehicles take longer to stop when they're empty than when they are fully loaded because there is less traction. To uncouple a loaded trailer after the landing gear has made firm contact with the ground, you should turn the crank a few more times to lift some weight off the tractor. The tractor protection valve is designed to close automatically when the air pressure falls into the pressure range specified by the manufacturer, typically 20 to 45 PSI. If the brakes did not release when you push the trailer air supply valve, you should check the air line connections. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the easier it is to turn over. When you test the tractor protection valve, the red air supply control knob should go into the emergency position. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is tilted down towards the rear of the tractor. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure both answers are correct. There is enough clearance between the tops of the tractor tires and the nose of the trailer. And there is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under? The emergency and service airlines. Before you back under a trailer, make sure the air brakes are off. On a double or triple vehicle, which wheels off track the most? The rear wheels of the last trailer. Which statement best illustrates the crack the whip effect? When making a quick lane change or sudden movement of the steering wheel, the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified, causing it to roll over. To test a tractor protection valve, charging the trailer air brake system, turn off the engine and 
step on and off the brake pedal several times. Which of the following vehicles off tracks the most? A5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Almost half of all truck driver death are the results of rollovers. At night when a vehicle is carrying a load that extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red lights. In normal driving, some drivers use the hand valve before applying the brake pedal to prevent a jackknife. Which of these statements is true? It should not be done. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This can be done by applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. What is the safest way for you to make a turn without entering another traffic lane? You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Even before anti-lock braking systems, ABS were required, some vehicles already had them. How can you check if your vehicle has ABS? Look under the vehicle for the ECU and wheel speed sensor wires coming from the back of the brakes. What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. You're uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. A tractor with a Trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Fully loaded. The tractor protection valve will close and the trailer brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking brakes. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the trailer emergency spring emergencies to come on. Semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. often do not have spring brakes. How much space should be between the apron and the fifth wheel after coupling? None. On a trailer, where is the yellow anti-lock brake, ABS, malfunction lamp located? On the front left or rear left corner. What are the other names for the service airline? Control line and signal line. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is 
and normal pressure. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be secured but with enough slack for turns. Which of these statements is true? Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Which part of the king pin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 feet. You supply air to the trailer tanks by pushing in the trailer air supply control. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer, you should line up directly in front of the trailer. Airlines on a combination vehicle are often color-coded to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is, emergency line is red, and the service line is blue. Low underneath clearance vehicles can be risky at railroad crossings because They are more likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings. After you have coupled the trailer, you should start to raise the landing gear by using low gear. At what angle do you hold your airline glad hands when connecting them? Ninety degrees. If you do not do the final air brake check for air leaks and fix them before driving, You could lose your brakes while driving. Which type of truck trailer combination has the greatest chance of a crack the whip rollover? A tractor pulling three trailers. Compared with a straight truck or bus, there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. More things. If the trailer has anti-lock brakes, ABS, but the tractor doesn't, the trailer is still less likely to swing out. The safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be for a coupling to be completed. Over the locking lever. To drive a triple combination vehicle, you must have a Class A CDL with a doubles triples endorsement. Low underneath clearance vehicles can be risky at railroad crossings because they are more likely to get stuck on raised railroad crossings. To test the tractor protection valve, charging the trailer air brake system, turn off the engine and step on and off the brake pedal several times.
Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 feet. If you do not do the final air brake check for air leaks and fix them before driving, you could lose your brakes while driving. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. A tractor with a trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Fully loaded. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be secured but with enough slack for turns. You should use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes because if the air supply leaks away, there will be no brakes.